Welcome back guys to another video. My name is Siddharth Asnayar and you're watching That Car Guy. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the B7 generation uh, Volkswagen Passat. In specific, this is a 2011 version with around 100, no wait, 128,000 kilometers on the clock. This is mine actually guys. I bought this around three weeks back and um, this is going to be an in-depth detailed review about this car, what it's like to live with, uh, the features of course, they are plentiful and the maintenance side. Yes, it is a bit on the pricier side as I came to find out, but um, it's okay guys, actually it is somewhat worth it. So uh, if you are interested in buying one of these cars, do check this video out, watch it till the end because I'm going to go a little bit into the detail about uh, the maintenance side towards the end of this video. So keep watching guys. So guys, this is it. This is the 2011 Volkswagen Passat and this is what they call as a facelift. But in my opinion, this is a whole new car from the previous generation. The older one had a very rounded, bulbous design. This one looks sharp. It still looks up to date. Like, you could sell this car as a brand new car. Not this car, basically, but a newer version of this. And people would still buy them because this looks so classy and timeless. It's all... It's got a very square, sharp edge design. It got creases on the hood over here, which extend all the way to the grille. That is a nice touch. We got uh, projector headlights with daytime running lights over here. Now these are not projectors. This is, these are just for your indicators. Uh, initially I thought these had uh, bi-xenon headlights, but no, you get xenon headlights on this one. This is your just, this is your normal indicator over here. Coming down from that, we have a very chrome heavy bumper over here with fog lights and these double up as conning lamps. When you turn the steering wheel to the right, the right one lights up. When you turn to the left, your left one lights up and providing additional visibility. That's a great touch. Like I said, chrome is everywhere. You got bottom chrome, you got a chrome like a C shape, you got a chrome in the center and you have four slats of chrome on the grill with a chrome <laughs> VW logo. That is very chrome heavy, but it suits this car. I mean, the big estately appeal of this car is doing justice with all of this chrome on it so there's no complaints over there and to the side we have the 16 inch five spoke alloy wheels specifically this alloy came for the highline variant and the lower trims got a different design these tires uh, these wheels are wrapped in 215 r16 tires and um, yeah that is not a very common tire size a little bit on the pricier side for these tires definitely and to the side, well, we have a chrome strip on the bottom of the doors. We have a chrome strip running along the windows. The ORVMs come with these beautiful, slim, sleek looking indicators. And it also has puddle lamps in the bottom. And we have these door handles over here. And the cool thing about these door handles is on this variant, you get request sensors for the comfort access on all four doors. That is superb you can lock the car with any door you have a strong belt line starting from the headlight all the way going through detail lights and that is a very strong sharp looking detail design over here you can see from this angle it just splits up that uh, one third section of the car giving it a very nice and muscular look another shoulder line or a belt line what you can call starting from over here ending at the chrome trim piece over there very very nicely designed and this is the all new back well the face lifted back with the square angular tail lights good twin tip tail pipes pretty sporty in my opinion and the volkswagen logo which also doubles up as your boot release now the boot itself is huge I mean, there's a lot of space. I really don't know what the actual capacity in liters is, but it is a lot. But the downside is the opening is kind of narrow inside and uh, we do get a full size spare wheel. That is an alloy. I did check. Uh, so that is pretty cool. You can uh, fold the seats from here by pulling these tabs. You can fold those seats down. Overall, this car is very good to look at. It is very, very striking, very appealing. And uh, like I said, this is one of the timeless designs from 
Volkswagen. Now the Passat came with two engine options. This is the two liter common rail diesel known as the TDI, which makes around 170 horsepower. And uh, the other petrol variant was a 1.8 TSI turbocharged petrol engine, which was very rare. No one hardly, anyone hardly bought it because this diesel was way more powerful and it delivered better fuel mileage. Everything looks clean and neat. Typically being Volkswagen, everything is covered up with fancy plastic materials. Uh, you might notice the battery is missing because the battery is in the boot. We have the fuse box, the air filter, everything in this car looks neat. That was one of the main concerns I had. I didn't want to buy a car which was wrecked. Everything looks to be in order. Everything, all the welds, the joint seams, everything is perfect in this car. And uh, yeah, this is basically it guys. And this car comes with a six speed DSG automatic transmission. So the pairing of this engine with that DSG gearbox is fantastic. Now the interiors. Now this is the place where you know why this car was priced at around 35 lakhs when it was new because everything in here is top notch, looks so classy and elegant. Uh, the clock in the center, it is beautiful. It lights up at night and it is fantastic. So here's the key over here. This is the Volkswagen key. This does come with comfort access. So you just need to have this in your pocket. You can open the doors, lock the doors. And in this trim, you also get a start stop button over here. You just have to put your foot on the brake, press it. The engine comes to life, all that good stuff. And again, on the Highland trim, you get all black interiors like the dashboard, the seats, the door cards, everything is in this premium black leather. And uh, the front seats are ventilated, both cooling and heating. So this is such a blessing, guys, because in these hot summers, once you get used to these cool seats, you're never going back. And that is going to be a big priority going forward with your car purchase. You're going to be hunting for cars with cool seats because this is such a great feature to have. And the overall dashboard layout, everything is so timeless and elegant with the uh, wood trim on the center covered by this. Uh, you can see there's a little sunshade effect going on over here. It looks really classy. Again, the clock is it's an analog clock and it is covered by this aluminium surround, which is again very classy. You also get that brushed finished uh, trim over here for the uh, multimedia system same thing carries all the way down it just feels so premium and it is so so classy guys the whole dashboard orientation everything is just so timeless even uh, the surrounds for the AC vents get that uh, small brushed aluminium finish all around the door handles again the grab handles are made it feels like it's made out of one billet of aluminium it is so heavy it's really heavy it's not flimsy at all every time you grab onto it you know you're holding onto something which is very very expensive and of high quality uh, the features on this car are amazing you get a full touch screen uh, multimedia system with bluetooth connectivity so that you can connect your phone and answer calls the multi-control steering wheel it's a bit of an old design but it has this leather stitching over here it is wrapped in leather and the weight and the feel of the steering is top notch you get these indents for your thumb over here you can hold on to it it's a very nice and premium feeling steering wheel you get the controls here for your mmi display over here you can search scroll through things like that um, again this section is fully dedicated to the screen in the middle so over here is fully dedicated to your uh, multimedia system and uh, bluetooth connectivity you do get cruise control and uh, paddle shifters behind the steering wheel which are a pretty nice uh, they are a little small in my opinion but they do feel very clicky clicky and uh, the action is very positive very tight and uh, all those cars has run around 128,000 kilometers it doesn't feel like it's going to come apart anytime soon everything on this car feels like it is built to last that is what what we used to call as german quality or quality is how germans pronounce it but you do feel that in abundance with this car like i said uh, you get uh, ventilated seats and both the front seats are power adjustable uh, with the driver seat getting a memory setting three memory setting and uh, we 
got these over here the automatic headlights the automatic wipers and this slot is for the uh, lower trims where you have to put the key in and push to start the engine this because this car is equipped with the uh, comfort access you don't need to use that slot you just keep it in your pocket you can make by with this uh, engine start stop button and coming down over here we have the uh, DSG gear lever itself covered in leather it's a very nice uh, it's very nice it's very nice to hold on to because this car is almost what 10 years old and uh, the gear action and everything is just so solid it doesn't feel wonky at all and again we have leather on the sides and this uh, aluminium finish on the uh, center with the DSG script over here it's pretty nice and uh, we have an electronic handbrake that's pretty nice auto hill hold uh, this works really really well when you're an inclined you don't want the car to roll back it helps a lot in day-to-day uh, -day traffic and uh, it helps you out in tricky situations and this is the traction control switch if you want to go drifting I do not recommend that this is for the power sunshades in the back and this is the stupidest button this is the auto start stop basically you start the engine you immediately press this otherwise it becomes really irritating this is for your uh, tire pressure monitoring system if every time you have to reset this if you have a flat this is for the parktronic uh, sensors basically and this car does also have a backup camera put into reverse and uh, yeah it is not the most highest definition camera but the angle and the positioning is pretty awesome because you get a very wide field of view and the guidelines actually change with your steering inputs so that's a pretty good thing to have coming down well uh, you have park assist this is basically what i just showed you and this is the uh, party trick of this car on the highline version you get a park assist plus basically the car will auto park itself you press this switch over here you can see now this is for parallel parking you press it again this is for your normal uh, in between two car parking and this is to park assist finish basically it has two guided modes to help you park and I have not tried this on this car because it is just easier for me to just park it but someone who is a little bit intimidated about the size of this car I, I can see that I can see them using this feature a lot because this is a very long car and uh, this might help you out in tricky situations for but for me no uh, this is just fine and even the dope cards just look at the quality the this is all soft plastic there's nothing cheap about this interior we have real leather over here and uh, again leather over here with this double stitching and even the inside of the dope card where you normally put your bottles and all these are felt lined wow that is just awesome you don't see things like this on normal day-to-day -day cars it's just so premium you have a lockable glove box over here you have two cup holders over here and this tray well it seems to be fixed in this position for some reason i don't know i'm not going to play with that too much and i want to break it you get a armrest in the middle which is huge <laughs> it's really huge and it can be adjusted in different heights if you want that much yeah again it, it stays here and it puts it all the way up and down it goes back to its fully folded down position that's a pretty smart trick found on most Skodas and VWs this is one of their patented items I guess and uh, over here we have the sunroof controls two mirror lights and I have no idea what these three buttons do I don't think uh, we get these buttons enabled in uh, India I think this is for the star or triple a or something like that so um yeah guys that's basically it and yes this is the sunroof let me show you now to the back seats well there is no lack of space it is huge as you can see, uh, my knees are nowhere near the front seats. This is set to my driving position. This seat is set all the way back. And yes, there is abundance of space. 
I mean, yeah, headroom, even with my hat on, is more than enough. And uh, the same uh, quality effects you get on the front are carried over to the back. Even in the back, you get this uh, chrome slash aluminium treatment on top of the wood. So just look at the levels of details gone on to this door pad. Again, soft touch materials all around. Nothing feels cheap. And in this Highline variant, you also get sun blinds. That is pretty cool. And uh, you do get a center armrest over here. Pretty basic. And you do get cup holders. Oh yeah, that's how the cup holder system works. And uh, this is openable. You can keep not much. It's not too deep, but it's a little shallow storage space. And you can access the boot from here. That is a pretty handy thing to have. Where if you want to grab something from the back, you don't need to stop the car and go to the back. You can just access it from here. That is a pretty neat touch. And uh, you do get sun, sun blinds for the back as well. From the switch over there, it's uh, fully electric. Also get AC vents in the back too. But I really wish they had also two more on the pillars as well. But this does the job. This car doesn't feel hot. Even in such sunny situations, the car does maintain temperature fairly easy. And over here, we also have a USB stick. Well, this is not a USB stick. Is it a USB stick? No, it is a cigarette lighter. And uh, this, I think, has been bought by the previous owner. Thank you, whoever you are. Much appreciated. We get magazine racks over here in the back. Both seats get them. And uh, although this is perforated, this is not ventilated. But I'm not complaining, guys. This is awesome, nonetheless. Three headrests, proper headrests, three seat belts. So three people in the back, no issues. This car was meant for three people in the back. And just check out the view of that dashboard. Isn't that magnificent? I'm telling you guys, there's nothing in this price category which can match the level of luxury and quality of this car. It's just one of the most beautiful interiors that I have ever seen. And mind you, I do own an E60 BMW 530D, so even compared to that, this car is very, very luxuriously appointed and designed. This car also comes equipped with eight airbags, one over here, one over here. One on each pillar, as you can see. Uh, two more on the B pillar and two more on the C pillar. So a total of eight airbags. That is fantastic in terms of safety. And it has the normal ABS, EBD, traction control, all of those goodies. But to have eight airbags in a car, it's reassuring. And uh, you know you'll be taken care of in case things go sideways. Well, talking about price, you can find these cars normally starting from around 6.5 lakhs going all the way to around 10, 11 lakhs, depending on the condition and mileage, of course. And um, yeah, you can find decent examples like this one. This didn't need a lot of work, but uh, the things I got done to this car after owning, well, those were, those were a little bit expensive in my eyes because i normally daily a toyota innova so for me that was on the higher side what i got done essentially was a oil change with all the filters like the air filter the diesel filter the cabin air filter and uh, that all came around to 22,000 rupees yeah it's a little bit pricey it's almost bordering the audi bmw mercedes service prices Mainly because I changed the oil with Castrol Edge Fully Synthetic Oil. Now that is the oil I use on all of my cars. Even my Marti Desire uses that oil because I trust that uh, oil a lot because it is very, it's been very good. As soon as you put it in, the car becomes like noticeably silent and the car feels a little more peppier and just feels more refined overall. So I went with Castrol Edge. Now that oil is, on the most priciest oils you can buy you can get normal cheaper engine oils even synthetic oils for much less but that is why it came to around 22,000. the next thing i got done was a full dsg oil change with the dsg filter so full transmission oil came out fresh synthetic uh, transmission fluid went in and that came around to around 18,000 rupees uh, including the filter of course so yeah 
<laughs> you can see the uh, amount starts to add up in just me owning this car and doing basic basic services so in that aspect and that uh, financial aspect you can say this car is a little bit on the pricey side to just maintain but uh, if you treat this car well this car is like i said it's almost 10 years old and it has the potential to go another 10 years and a big plus i had with this car was that it had a recent uh, service where the timing belt the water pump and uh, most of the expensive very big ticket items were taken care of and i had the receipts for it from volkswagen so that was a big big plus because uh, that service alone would cost anywhere between 80 to 1 lakh so yeah i was a big big uh, plus side for me and if you're purchasing a Volkswagen uh, Passat if it is around the 1 lakh kilometer range do check if that service has been done or else you have to deduct it from the purchase price because you will definitely need to do that because if your timing bell snaps then goodbye Passat <laughs> So guys, that was it. That was the Passat review. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a big like. Comment in the comment sections below what did you think. And uh, do share this with your friends and family. And maybe who knows, someone might be looking for the Passat. And this video could help them out. Maybe. <laughs> maybe they'll run away. <laughs> but uh, please do share, like, subscribe, all of those good stuff. We'll catch you guys pretty soon with another video. Till then, goodbye and God bless.